Hey everyone, welcome back to our Fallout Show reaction. My name is Honest. And I'm Mare. And today we're going to keep going with episode two, The Target. I was so impressed with episode one, it blew all my expectations out of the water, and I can't wait to keep going with the show. Yeah, and uh, at the end of the last episode, we had some theories, so let's see if they're going to be true this time. Okay, I think we're starting at a flashback. Is that? Or is this a wound? Is that a fetus? <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's it's the dog. It'll be muted on the video, but this song is so good. Ink spots. What a cutie! Oh, it's the Enclave guy. It's the the target. Roll credits. <gasps> no. Rude. Sorry, that was really. It's warranted. Is there going to be something special about the dog? I'm not a fan of this animal cruelty. No, no, definitely not. But is the... Yeah, they're definitely testing on the dog. Yeah, like but... They're testing different, like, maybe biological things. So I have a feeling this dog is going to be, like, a bionic dog. In some yeah, way. and they mentioned that he's carrying an object. Maybe it's the dog? Like, like the that item? That would be interesting. Yeah. Maybe they don't know it yet. Laser rifle. Favorite gun from the game. But yeah, they might not know it. Yeah. He's got a pit boy. I guess if he's with the Enclave, that makes sense. I hope they give him the bear at the end of his sessions. Brain in a jar. Notice that. Where? Oh, it was on the table. It's gone oh, now, but God. uh Robo Brain. Oh, they do give he him the bear. He gets the bear. Good boy. Is that a microchip? Maybe, yeah, was that in the dog? Or is it going to go in the dog? Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so sad, guys. Is he putting it in himself? Can he, can he talk to the dog now? Is that what we're doing? Uh, How did he know the right spot? Like, that could have just... He's a doctor. I know, but still. Oh, my... Okay, it doesn't look like it was that deep. Perfect boy. What? Perfect boy. He's my favorite character. Dog yeah. is my favorite character. Yeah. See Forget Lucy. Form. <laughs> <laughs> but Lucy and dog together. Power couple. Duo. Uh oh. Someone's gonna get shot. Well, the dog's not anything but loyal. Yeah. Oh. He's like, good boy. I will, I do have to point out the fact that it's not named Dogmeat. Maybe one of our characters will name him Dogmeat. Dogmeat is the name of like every dog in Fallout, basically. Oh, really? Yeah. They're different dogs, but it's kind of like, <laughs> like Roach from The Witcher. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Who's uh, also a good boy. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is the reason, I think, why the Enclave... Enclave? Enclave. Wants him. Well, or the, the Brotherhood him. wants him. But also, it I seems assume, like there's a couple of bounties. I assume that, yeah, I assume yeah. that the Enclave also is looking for him. He's really right cool. out of Fallout 4. Right out of Fallout 4. How? <laughs> That's <laughs> really good. So it's an MK1, right, with that aim? <laughs> I was going to say, I was yeah. going to ask, is in the game they're also terrible aim? Uh, they have different levels, but okay. yeah. Uh, they don't do that much damage, but yeah, the aim is hit and miss. That's awesome. But <laughs> it's... Ah, I'm, again, I have to mute them for the video, but another song from the games. Just so much nostalgia for me. I love it. Called? I don't actually know what they're called. I just listened to them. <laughs> Don't fence me in. Whoa. I wonder. Oh, she was scared of the yeah, tumbleweed. She's never seen one of those before. The heck, yeah. I wonder what 
where she's going. Like, she must have just picked a direction and yeah, started walking because she has nothing to go off of. Is that a Protectron? Oh, it's an Assaultron! Oh, you better keep walking, girl. I hate Assaultrons. <laughs> she's gonna... Is it a dead person or... Yep. Classic, classic Fallout scene. Oh, no. Jesus. Yeah. And the games are always just finding. Oh. Right. There. Vault Tech Plan B. So in there's some there's some bonus videos that are Vault Tech promos, and they mention this Plan B or Plan D. If you couldn't get into the vault, they basically sold suicide pills, I think. Ugh. Oh, and her being a complete Vault Tech shill, that would be a little rattling. Because she doesn't understand how truly evil Vault Tech was. Right. So she, that she, all she's ever been fed is propaganda. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually shocked she can make a fire. I would have thought. She's Lucy. She true, can do anything. True, true. She took the science skill. <laughs> it's her first uh, starry sky ever. Mm. Is it the dog? Or is it one of. A gajillion mutants. It could I be. think I saw this in the promo, actually. <gasps> it's our boy. Rad Roach? Yep, that's a Rad Roach. Oh, he was just sitting there. That's freaking creepy. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. He's probably just shocked to see a Vault Dweller. True. Vault Dwellers are an endangered species here. He's been being very kind to her, I suppose. I mean, in the wasteland, you'd expect most people to just threaten a, someone who's asleep, and they have a pit boy too. But he's from the Enclave, so. The question is, will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? What do you think that is? What's that? The uh, like chip. Oh, the chip. Yeah, I don't know. Something. It to wouldn't be a locator. No, I don't think so. Maybe that's the item and he's just keeping it sa safe Inside in his, his body, yeah. Maybe. You know, it would be interesting if mm -hmm. the only way that that item could stay active is if the host remains active, as in, like, the oh, host okay. remains yeah. alive. So if they tried to kill him, then they would lose the uh, artifact. Kind of like a dead man streamer in a little bit way. They're specifically like, exactly a dead man's trigger in that case mm. maybe it's protecting it from being detected somehow maybe like, I, I don't, oh i could see that I, he could have gotten like a, a lead box or something i don't see but you never know my lord titus <laughs> yeah they haven't even like met really have they other than him branding I mean, his back the tempered lining on the t60 does that that help with mobility that's a mod you can get in the game for your power armor, right? The tempered lining. That's so cute. That's so funny. Oh, jeez. Clean that. Oh, no. Is he just gonna drop with him? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is a little bit cute. He's <laughs> slow enough. It's fine. Oh my god. I say when I would definitely do the exact same thing, if not more. Poor Maximus. Oh my god, that was funny. Power armor negates fall damage in the game, so... Mm. For Titus, it wouldn't be much of a problem. It's so weird seeing a vertebrate in live action. Ah. Oh my god. He, he just gotta... Listen, Titus is the one in power armor. That's upping his strength to like at least 11. Why not give him? Ah. Hierarchies. I get it. I get it. Cram. He's going to always. Specifically not spam. Nope. Yep. Specifically cram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what a good, a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, oh my God. Just like our old pal dog meat. Oh, is this the ghouls, maybe? Nope, I think it's a Yagwai. Based on the trailer, that is. Oh, God. 
Ah, that assault rifle model looks so nice. And the power armor sound is... Again, I, I know I keep saying this, but pulled right out of the game. Like, even that, they... They got. Oh, Maximus. Oh, oh no, Maximus. You better run. Sweet, sweet, innocent boyo. He's got what, like military fatigues on? That, that, that doesn't give you much protection. Some kind of um, mine or disposal site for radiation or radioactive materials. You are in the suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. No, it, it's just stupid. Move. So Titus is kind of a dick. I'm not surprised. Yeah. The flashlight's dead, of course. Oh, God. Isn't that, like, something that happens in, when you, you're near radioactive True. Materials? That's actually a good point, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Chernobyl. <laughs> What's the problem, dipshit? Oh, my God. I hope the bear kills him. <laughs> it is a Galgawai. Oh. That looks like practical effects. It looks good. It crumpled the barrel of the gun. <laughs> Acts of bravery. Look at the the marks on him. He the, the bear looks great. <laughs> oh no. Shoot oh. Is that right in the eye? That was a good shot. Okay, oh. Titus is still alive. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Give me a step back. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is just some guy who was a bit trigger happy, wanted a cool set of armor, doesn't care about the Brotherhood at all. You know this is all your fault. He's like, I have the power to help you. Why would you be saying that to the person literally holding the holding stim pack? The stim pack. That's what they're gonna do to you. He also killed the Algwai. Yeah, he's just some idiot who wanted a cool gun, cool piece of armor. Give me a stick back. Give me a stick back. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, and to him, members of the Brotherhood are like these saviors. He idolized well, them for so long. So are they? Is... <laughs> exactly, are they? Yeah. No, as in, do you think they are? Because that scene could go very differently with the little kid and the guy. Oh, you fair, don't deserve yeah. that armor. <clears throat> so is he just letting him... Hi, hello, excuse me. Oh God, excuse me. here we go. Hi. <laughs> excuse me. It's okay, I just wanna ask you for directions. She's adorable. It's like when you approach an NPC in the game and you forget that you have your gun on. It's just, <laughs> is that what they were doing? Because that's so silly. That's awesome. I love it. Hi there. <laughs> My sweet, sweet summer child. Uh, sorry. Uh... Oh, Lucy. <laughs> He's gross. Live with me. Use a family that helps with all the work. Ah. Uh. She or did she's married now, right? Technically. I'm. I don't think that counts. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> I think I'm dying. Oh, you wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. Oh my God. 
honestly, for her first interaction with the Wastelander, could have been a lot worse. Could that was been. actually pretty good. I'm super anxious. I'm glad the scene ended, but I was super anxious throughout the entire thing, thinking it was going to be so much worse. I'm actually shocked that it wasn't worse. That's... Wait, so... Did he... Did he die? Is Titus just... He totally died. Wow. He was mauled by a bear. Yeah, I got... I mean, he was wearing power armor. Yeah, no. Ballistic weave is better. Just saying. Cool. Looks like the UI from Fallout 4 when you wear power armor. Actually, it looks exactly like it. Sweet. <laughs> the sounds the are so good. The soundtrack is really good. The yeah, soundtrack this is, is amazing. Another great song. It's a man. Did he just so did he just leave the Titus's body like in the woods? That's you know what? Respect. Respect. Where is he else is he gonna put him? I guess so, yeah. What happened to the vertebrate? Wouldn't it have picked him up by now? Or or like started looking for them? True. Oh, Yeah, buddy. Oh. Your strength stat is so <laughs> high right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought you killed that man. <laughs> they did that on purpose. They so did. Be careful, you have very strong, you could Yeah, yeah. He could literally. Okay, Maximus, careful with the power trip. I wonder if maybe he's actually in the right here. Toodles, you sir. He's giving Bard energy. It's just, the guy was fucking my chickens. <sighs> yep, I knew it. I... <laughs> Not that specifically, but like I, I had a feeling he was actually in the right here. Scientific curiosity, Ooh. I see. Can they fly? There's no way that tiny little, like. Oh, he saw. So they have jetpacks in the game, but they look a bit different in the game. The jetpacks are mounted on the back. That makes this sense. was in a scene that was released already. Apparently, they can fly via those arm thrusters, which not enough power. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but it, I mean. My name. I kind of love the old couple, though. <laughs> they're just they're just doing their thing. They they're got their bird on their back. They're just, they're just hiking. Yeah, watch out for the bears, though. Dog meat. He said dog. Fresh iguana. Can I interest you? No, no, no. Don't eat the iguana bits. Don't don't eat the iguana bits. You um, have you seen this man? Iguana bits are people. No. What? Well, uh, they look like actual iguanas. Some, though. some of them. They, uh, there, there was a thing in a game, Ugh. but now iguana bits are in like every single Fallout game because of it. Oof. Oh, sorry. This is like when you walk into a settlement for the first time or a town in Fallout, and they have all the scripted sequences happening <laughs> to give you the, the vibes all at once. Yeah. <gasps> Ramen. <laughs> Two-headed cow. And uh, well, because these items. Technically belong to Vault Oh Tech. no, Lucy. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. <sighs> Barb, get in here. You gotta see this. Uh, Ma'am, the raider I'm looking for. Yeah, most vault dwellers are dead by now. By the name of Barb, Mold get in here. You... She did say in the vault that everyone knew who she was. Get back to your fucking room, Barb. <laughs> yeah, Barb. We stand, Barf. <laughs> All the murder and, and the dirt. But the mission of the vaults should be important. <laughs> she's, such a, she's such a little cupcake. And the dirt. We're going to save America. Oh, God. <laughs> and when exactly were you planning on saving America? This is something that she needs to hear. We vault dwellers recognize 
uh, and are grateful for oh. the position we're born. Oh. And you know what folks up here? <gasps> oh. At least she recognizes her privilege. Privilege, yeah. I... It'll be very interesting to see her her whole worldview just kind of crack and shatter as this goes on. I also I want to know more about what's actually happening in her vault. Very few vaults were control vaults, and it seems like something was happening with the trading and the connected vaults. No other vaults are connected like that. So I, I think we're going to get more scenes back in the vault, and I'm eager to hear or to learn about what's happening there. I love how in the previous episode I asked, like, oh, the, all are, are the vaults yeah, connected? Yeah. And then you were like, no. There's no way. And then the vaults were Immediately, connected. yeah. So weird. Okay, so our target's in the same town as Lucy and the ghoul. And the ghoul is looking for him. He's got his, his bounty, so. You come from Vault 33. He must He's know about it. He's quite clean for being born. You have a telesonic projector. Sorry, sorry, he phone. knows about exactly about the vault. I mean, he's from the Enclave. Oh, boy. Yeah, the Enclave had a vested interest in the vault, so he would know about them, and he would want vault dwellers to kind of keep going, I guess. Oh, I happen to be looking for one. You know your kind ain't welcome here. Oh, we love ghoulphobia. But I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Ah! Oh, I got a thousand bottle caps for whoever kills that. Decent amount of caps. What kind of bullet explodes this, like that? This foot is gone. Oh man, we're gonna get a trigger happy ghoul scene now, aren't we? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Wow, his foot just departed this universe. <laughs> what did he say? He does it for the, the fun of the game? His teeth are so straight. <laughs> yeah, for a ghoul, that's a little. It's the power of his charisma. It's like a, a mini, mini nuke launcher. Am I forgetting what this is? Is this weapon in the games? It is now. It is now. Damn, y'all ain't got me working up an appetite. Do they also, eat humans? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, well, not usually, but cannibals are... Oh, tomatoes? Tomatoes. He is a trained killer at this point. Wow. Pipe rifle, pipe rifle. Cool. He, those uh, ghouls aren't naturally resistant to damage like that, are they? He's been alive for over yeah. 200 years. There's something wrong. There's, with okay, him. yeah, there's something there. It's gotta come from his 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 experience with vault -Tec. Like, they might have done some testing on him. Could be. Maybe he was a vault dweller that got tested on and then escaped or something. <laughs> Boom on the bullet. Wow! Everyone took bloody mess. It's just this specific song on the soundtrack is giving Dune. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be his motive. No, not Majune or Ma June. Also, that clothing stand right there is well, the tomatoes. straight out of Fault Four as well. <laughs> you can set those up in your settlements, but with the sign on top, cool reference. No. We're not killing the f dog. Nuh uh. We're not doing that. They did not. They did not. He was such a good boy. Was that a Gatling? A Gatling laser? I couldn't see it very well. Wow. No, it's okay. I, I bet you they're gonna stim pack the dog. They're gonna stim pack the dog. Can they do that? I don't know, but they're gonna figure it out. At first glance, your treatment of this man appears unfair. And you think? I'm obliged to intervene. 
This is some some textbook uh, de-escalation. As a person simply trying to de-escalate a conflict, then I'll have to assume of the two of you, you are likely the primary aggressor. Well, that's convenient. Wow, we are already all together yeah, in episode that's two. Yeah, crazy. Okay. I wonder if she thinks He's this is... going by Titus. Oh, he did. Good point. I Oh, I didn't even pick up on that. Oh. Ouch. Hey, yeah. Follow three gun jamming. Hi. Is this my new husband? Oh my god, hi! Is this is my new husband. He saved my life. Listen, that man is important. Wow, he's just tanking the bullets. It's giving Iron Man. <laughs> the shots in the face. Yes. This is one powerful ghoul. It's hard to walk upstairs when you're wearing a 12 piece cast iron skillet set. Not when I have. Rocket arms. Rocket arms. Oh my god, is that barf? Gonna need a new foot, barf. Uh, Time to eat my beans. Okay, we might have a new foot on standby, apparently. Majun is an icon. She's my favorite. That box with the defibrillator. You keep moving. Oh wow, she. Sorry, I didn't realize she's so starry eyed right now. These are, these are lesbian queens. <laughs> You yell at me the way. Oh my god. Icons. What? Wait, what is this? What is this for? Is it- She can take me. Is it just cauterizing? Like, what? They weren't kidding. It's a new leg. I don't- <gasps> Hey, Daddy Space Kitty. Mr. Mr. Pebbles? It's been a minute. I think it's Mr. Pebbles. But I... <laughs> I put that in every single settlement I build. But what does Moldy even want with you, I mean, She steals dads. <laughs> she steals dads. Hole up across the shithole. The shithole? The shithole. Uh, well, just, just get to the coordinates. It's gotta be a, um... Crater? Yeah. Oh my god. The fact that a single ghoul is going up against a guy in T60. Ah, and there goes the clothing stand. Now everyone's gonna have to be naked. <laughs> so it is the way it is. He smiled as soon- okay. Wow. They are- She's eager to move on from Monty from the last episode. <laughs> Sir, like a man in uniform. He is gonna run out of fusion core juice. <laughs> Sorry, that just- that just registered here. Yeah. She's also in uniform, I guess. Rule number one. Read the manual. Ah, uh, yeah, he's doing the lasso, right? <laughs> okay, that's very funny. <laughs> what? How do you fly away like what that? What kind of juice do they have in these power suits? <laughs> oh. Serums to heal your feet. The marsupial serum? Is there actually a serum for that? She's still smiling. This this lady. I. There's a uh, mutant serums in one of the games that you can take. So I guess that's what that Maybe? is. Maybe. Yeah. No way is the ghoul right there. Okay, it's not. <laughs> I love this show. Like dibs! Yeah, pretty much. He's gotta be out of fusion core juice soon. Oh my. Oh no. That's a mini nuke. There's a mini nuke in there. And a vault dweller a party nuke? hat. Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I also no. forgot about no. the doggo. Poor four. Oh? Why would you stab him in the first place? Stimpak? <gasps> yeah! Good, good ghoul. I mean, I don't want to watch this part either, but... 
You can stim pack dog meat in four, right? So they do work. <laughs> oh my god, do they ever work? What a good boy! What a good boy! <laughs> Thank god. Oh, because the dog's gonna lead him to. He doesn't actually care about the dog. He just wants to find Will Zing. Or whatever his name was. Okay, well, at least the dog's alive. That's something, I guess. Puppy love. Speaking of puppers. Oh, wait, was that? CCP. Something China related, right? Is that, that that's LAX. That's LAX in the background. I've never been. I know that because of uh, Forbidden West, actually. <laughs> so yeah, they are right in LA, I think, in that case. Left to go. How's your new Not oh. the squishing. Oh, golly. Oh. Oh, wow. Golly. Wow, wow, wow. Can you stim pack that or no? I, I don't know. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide pill. Oh, <laughs> it was the most humane product that Vault Tech yeah. ever made. It was quick, painless, it tasted like banana. That's what she found on that dinner table. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised it wasn't more popular. But how am I going to bring you if you're... you know, not, not my whole body. Just that little attachment thingy, right? Just my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. that too, I guess. Is that a ripper? No. That's a ripper, right? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. You need to start acting like a surface dweller. <laughs> okay. Yes, McLean. How do you know my name? Sir. Oh, of course. Such a cop out. Oh, oh, oh. It's a... Uh, Slocum Joe's. Took me a second. God. Uh, I was waiting for this song. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh. You guys can't hear that, but... Yeah, it's gonna be muted because of the song, but... Oh, it's Nuka Girl! It's Nuka Girl, my favorite. You have a poster I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they're actually doing a, a different ending sequence like this each time. I didn't include it in the episode one one, but it was different. This is LAX, Vertibird. Yeah, that's cool. Everyone, hug your dogs, because... They deserve it. They deserve it. You never know when... They're so loyal and beautiful. Are we gonna get like a like a ghoul plus dog friendship arc? Because clearly he's just saved him to lead him to the device, I think. Well, to lead him to the smell of the guy. True. Yeah, okay, if it's the guy, then it's gonna be a dead end. Yeah. If it's somehow the device, which it, it can't be. It can't and, be. I, I, yeah. I highly doubt that. Yeah. Um, but that was a good episode. Mm -hmm. I think it was a lot of buildup. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of what are we doing for the quest, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it was a very good episode. Mm -hmm. And a lot, a very important and necessary, like, slap in the face for Lucy about what it means to be, like the, the guy said at the end, a vault dweller versus a surface dweller. Mm -hmm. um, you had her interacting with just the, the different people of the town, Ma Jun, and of course, at the end, she has to actually chop a guy's head off. And I mean, it, it was his dying wish that she do it, but... It's it's a much more harsh reality up upstairs, and she's, she's already in the too. thick of it, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess oh, she got <laughs> she got a little bit of like a taste of what could happen when the wasteland people came down into the, her vault. Oh, very true. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is just prolonging that. She did have a great first in interaction with that one guy in the house. That went like so that went well. so well. She that's gotta water, come back. But... I I think that's gonna. <laughs> We're going to circle back to that. That would be amazing. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, what, what's going on with the, the desert to the forest? Um, it might just be some weird climate stuff with the vault. 
Um, yeah, that was weird. Um, maybe because it doesn't like the the forest was like not not sand. It mm-hmm. was it was not a sandy forest. It was. I'm forgetting, but uh, you can comment down below if I'm if I'm getting this right. In Fallout Two Vault City, they actually managed to use their Gek right. So every vault was given, or nearly every vault was given a Gek Garden of Eden creation kit. Um, I think that's what that stands for. And it's basically just like once they were supposed like to go up back onto the surface, they could use this kit to regreen an area. It had like seeds in it, a bunch of different things they could oh, use to cool. fix the soil. So I'm wondering if maybe that was supposed to be like a gecked area, but right. or it could just be weird climate stuff after the, the radiation apocalypse. Right. I don't know. But um it was I, I loved seeing the town Philly. That was like like right outside of the game. Like sorry, right out of the game like junk town that you can encounter with just all of these like different things everywhere. The plane bits, the cars stacked on top of each other, trash everywhere. Uh, it just, it felt very, very true. To... The clothing stand as well. Oh yeah. The, I, the clothing I know stand. 100%. I'm going to, I set down a gajillion of those in my settlements. Do you guys remember the rug glitch, the, the in settlement building to move things closer to each other? It's baked <laughs> into my memory. Oh my God. Um, it was okay. So about, Wilzig was that his name yeah Yeah. so it sounds like he was a member of the enclave and during the opening cutscene, he was in that like nice looking area with like the lab all the people that must be part of the remnants of the enclave maybe it's on the east coast if it's the commonwealth brotherhood who sent them to go find him but um the enclave had a vested interest in the vaults um they were kind of one of the reasons well, why he Vault knew Tech. her name exactly which is the crazy part um so he definitely had something to do with uh the, the people in the vaults maybe he specifically was stationed to look over that kind of group of vaults that were mm-hmm. there it's still running yes so if the if the experiment for that vault is still running they might be collecting data from it still i wonder what they would do though because the 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 vault 32 was completely like i don't know Mm -hmm. Uh, ransacked yeah ransacked killed yeah exactly so i guess they just kept the experiment going um which Mm -hmm. makes sense but maybe it's related to why he left in the first place i don't i don't know that might be a bit of a stretch but because what what happened there to make him leave um that guy came in i didn't quite catch so i think what happened was that he wasn't supposed to have four in the, oh, the seemed, dog. Yeah, he wasn't supposed right. to have the dog. Which all the dogs, all the other dogs were being trained um, to do, I don't know, for, I assume, a specific task. He took the dog onto himself. So that I, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I have a feeling he wasn't supposed to do that. And he wasn't supposed to, you know, he was doing experiments on himself, but also just random <laughs> experiments. So I think the, you know, scientists that came into the room realized that, pulled the alarm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah. And he was just doing things he wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. If that was the Enclave, it's a miracle that he got out of there alive because they are a scary bunch. But They're, they're um, the big boss. They're, they're the big boss. They're, they're <laughs> not easy to run away from. They have their own special type of power armor. Like, wow. Yeah. But we got our meeting between the three characters. Maximus is having the time of his life in power armor, but also he just crashed in yeah. some random person's backyard. <laughs> who was... Oh, it would be so funny if it's the same guy. If it's the guy that Lucy met, <laughs> that'd be I, I awesome. I think he'd look different, but that would be really fun. Yeah, it would that be That would be fun. amazing. Um, T- Titus is just gone, which is... Maximus isn't as much of a puppy dog as, like, I thought he was going to be. No, he I just... never thought he was. I'm, yeah. I'm still... I'm still, like, did he actually not put the razor blade in um, that one person's shoe? Right. I'm I'm not convinced that he didn't mm-hmm. do it. Because this, if he did, this would just be another example of him... Not like like hurting others or like going through others to get his way kind yeah. of thing. First sabotaging, did start with a D. Their name in the first episode. His mm-hmm. friend, um, and then sabotaging Titus. I mean, of course, Titus is already hurt, but he could have saved him even if Titus was being a total dickhead. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe. So maybe he's like. I think. I, don't know. I mean, I think he's just like every other. Wastelander, yeah, like he's, he's just trying to get by. Yeah, he's trying to get by. Yeah. V- vested interest in, in himself yeah. and everything. An opportunity yeah. was presented, but also like at the end of the day, I think he was a little justified based on Titus's behavior. Oh, like, yeah, for like sure. I don't feel bad about that in the slightest. But um, 
the fight choreo, not like the choreo, but also just like the set design and the fight design with them kind of taking apart the city to battle it out and the power armor just wrecking through everything was really well done. That was really um, interesting. The power armor, I will say, at times feels very light and at times they're doing things to make it seem as heavy as it should be like crashing through the buildings crashing through the floor uh, but i believe they actually built this suit to have an actor in it and so inherently it is actually pretty light i think and so there's a little bit of a mismatch there i will say but like it's not taking away from my enjoyment at all but um yeah. just something i thought i'd point out i do like the fact that they included it to be kind of feeling janky like it, it mm-hmm. felt mm-hmm. very it's difficult to, very... To, to maneuver yeah um but it is very strong so oh, he was he was taking those bullets oh yeah the yao guai the the bear sorry that that a mutated bear like that is called the yao guai uh-huh. got through it pretty easily i guess but um but those those exploding bullets oh my god yeah that was that was crazy brutal. oh my it seems like he had some very specific like very specific bullets like yeah. he had an assortment they mm-hmm. they all didn't look the same which might be just because of the materials that are out there are different but yeah it, it, it seems like he had different bullets for different things he took the gun nut perk. He's a really great... <laughs> uh, in Fallout, you can do a lot of, like, gun modding and modifications like that. Right. The, the bullet thing is new, though, I, unless I'm forgetting something, so... Pretty good episode overall. Some of the CGI wasn't, like, the best or maybe the practical yeah. effects, but um, took me out for, like, maybe a split second, and then I was sucked right back into the story, so mm-hmm. very good. I want to know what happened to the vertebrate. Are they just going to find Titus now and be like, oh, okay, he's dead. Yeah. I don't know. But um, overall, yeah, great episode. I love that our characters have already met, but it seems like we're diverging again. I'm, I want to know who Moldaver is. I, I, like, I have a feeling that Moldaver, I mean, I, I don't think that there's a clear um, good guy, bad guy situation mm-hmm. here um, because I feel like Follow is very much a world of gray. Um, oh yeah (laughs) but i have a feeling that moldova uh is going to be more good than we think Mm -hmm. i she seemed very resentful because we've rewatched the first episode she seemed very resentful specifically against her dad and she took her dad captive yeah so like i don't know what it could have been but maybe he did something to her in the past or maybe okay I'm not sure. This is me grasping at straws, but Mm -hmm. maybe Moldover... I I think that they were definitely in the vault vault at some point. point. Maybe they had a relationship with their mom, and their mom was taken uh, without... Like, uh, unconsensually, Mm -hmm. and forced to, like, have children with, like, the, the father in the story. And so that's kind of why there's a, uh, like, a very... strained relationship there between Moldover and the dad. Mm -hmm. And she knew enough to like use the pit boy to to pretend to be an overseer. So I think you're definitely right. Yeah. She was in the vault at some point in some capacity. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And something with a mom too. Yeah. I hope we get into that soon. I'm sure we won't. But um, (laughs) Yeah, we have a lot, (laughs) a long way to go. Lucy's got to get to wherever she has Moldover's coordinates. So she's going there, but she's going to run into some problems. I am sure. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. I'm just ex- eager to get to the next episode. Uh, I want to know what's going on. I'm loving these shots for getting to the wasteland. They are rendering the wasteland beautifully. Uh, I don't know if they could have done a better job. It's looking great so far, and I can't wait to see where we go next. So, anything else? No, that's everything no? for me. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to comment down below what you guys have been enjoying about the show so far. Um, no even spoilers, if you, though. No spoilers, yeah. Even if you finish the show at this point in the series, what you were thinking, uh, if you had any, any interesting theories, or if you think we might be onto something, let us know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we will see you guys back for episode three. So, thanks so much for watching, and see you then.